nature can make us feel the smell of fresh air, sunlight on our faces, restores our mood, refreshes our minds. Over the last few years during the pandemic, I, I discovered nature. There is a lot of talk about forest bathing and Colin and Justin are back now to inspire all of us to try it, right guys? I think we've got to, Tracy. I think you, you hit the nail on the head there. The pandemic really did a number on all of us. Mm. And all of a sudden we became different people and we started to analyze every part of our lives more than perhaps before. And me time, time that's quality in a good environment became ever more important. Now, as cottagers and people who work in that whole oeuvre, um, mm -hmm. we've always enjoyed being outside, but now we're really thinking about the benefits. Now, if you think about having a plant in the house, it photosynthesizes, mm -hmm. it, it does good stuff to the air. Imagine magnifying that by a million and positioning yourself in a forest when that environment starts to make you feel much more centered. Now, way back in 1982, I think, the Japanese government- Why did you have to put the way back in there? I know. <laughs> well, none of us were that born then. That was unnecessary. Then. None of us were really born then. We learned about that in, kind of, in modern history, I love that. Right? This is, this is in the 1900s. Oh, no. Exactly. This is a history lesson. It okay? is. <laughs> but, uh, way back in, 19, uh, in 1982, the Japanese <laughs> Ministry of Agriculture coined the term uh, Shinrin-yoku, and yes. it actually translates to forest bath. Mm -hmm. Now, there's so much betterment emotionally that can come from being in a really clear environment, and you're at one with the sounds, the smells, and all of those things that really constitute a healthy environment. So today, we're all about forest bathing, or yes. Shinrin Yoku, to give it its proper name. Beautiful. Absolutely, and you know, the difference between like a walk in the forest, you know, you walk through the forest, imagine that that's a shower. You know, it's mm. ch -ch -ch. this is the bath. This is about mm. immersing yourself in nature and actually letting it have a physical and emotional effect on you. We've got some great houses that are actually, they're from our book, Escapology, Beautiful. that kind of demonstrate how to bring the kind of Shinrin Yoko thing into an interior. And if you yes. want to have a look at the first one, this one is in Sweden. It's called the VIP Shelter. Mm. Um, what is incredible about this particular house, you know, this is made of steel, okay, and glass. And you're thinking, okay, well, my house isn't made of steel and glass, mm -hmm. but you can actually bring in a lot of the elements here into your own spaces, you know, and I think there, the use of glass, you don't know where the inside and where the outside actually yes. happen, you know, so you feel totally immersed in the forest. And just positioning a building as well, I mean, the positioning of that one right on the side of a lake is Stunning. designed to embrace sunsets, so you feel oh. connected to the earth. And that is so important in Shinrin Yoko. I have a big respect for any property that faces a sunrise or a sunset. Absolutely. I think they are beautiful. I live for them. I get up early so I can catch the sunrise. I go to the beach. I think it's gorgeous. Okay, this next uh, beautiful house is in South Africa. Do I even call it a house? It's like... Are these all cottages? Are they well, houses? I mean, or they... Know, that term cottage, I mean, it can mean a tiny little kind of naive structure or yeah. a really big mansion yeah. or an outdoor home of any variety. This so stunning. this is indeed a holiday home of a lovely family in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And I love this one, Tracy, because it's the classic case of indoors merging with outdoors. And boundaries are blurred. Which part is actually inside? Yeah. Which part is actually in fresh air? And this for me is just, it really typifies the whole joy of escapology and being outside. And I mean, we're so proud of this book. This book has just gone into its fourth reprint. Beautiful. And it really, it's crammed with the whole spirit yeah. of entertaining outdoors, being outdoors, being at one with yourself. And do you know what it's Beautiful. about, Tracy, in a word? decompression mm. yeah it's taking our foot off the collective gas because we've been running our lives for years compressed at all turns by the by the pandemic it's good to breathe again it's very good to breathe again I want to get this last one in before we go and it's a tree house mm. yes so take a look at this it's right here in Ontario where we film the show um, gorgeous and obviously the connection to nature is right there it's, it's amazing isn't yeah. it that was in Durham Ontario Beautiful. fabulous fabulous couple Michael and Lynn Knowlton have that and mm -hmm. actually you can rent that through the summer oh I know that yes. I know that tree house it's yeah am amazing people it's all about giving you the forest experience it's beautiful thank you Colin and Jess and all of these beautiful photos and so much more can be found in the fourth reprint of their book, Escape All.